Grizzly Guy Gaming! Hey, just a fucking saucy D-100 roll. That's all I need. Don't you want to bet it's here? I think it is, dude. Hey, getting all the bad items out of the way. All right, so we can get powerful ones. Free look. Free look, dude. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Grizzly Guy Gaming here with an exciting tutorial about secret rooms. The Binding of Isaac and you. One of the most commonly asked questions I receive while playing Isaac is, Grizzly, how do you always find the secret room? They say you find it with such speed, such expedience. Almost like a wizened old wizard in the realm of secret room finding. And unto them, I usually launch into some 10 minute tirade about exactly uh, uh, how to find it. But uh, for the sake of my time and your time and uh, conceivably all of our times extending into the far future, uh, I have decided to make a video about exactly how you can find secret and super secret rooms, uh, much like video game professional and partner Twitch streamer Grizzly Guy Gaming. Let's get into it. Let's start with secret rooms. The first thing that every secret room explorer is going to need to know is... The first thing that every secret room explorer is going to need to know is... The first thing every secret room explorer is going to need to know is where a secret room is likely to spawn. Nailed it. That's that's the one. A couple things to keep in mind here. Thing number one, a secret room is always going to be touching at least two walls. If there are more walls, well, there's perhaps more chance of a secret room, but it needs to be touching at least two. Thing number two, a secret room is more than likely going to spawn near a special room. Your special rooms being your shops, your item rooms, your curse rooms, and various things of that nature. Thing number three, and I don't know why I decided to put this one last because it's probably the most important, but you need to be able to walk to the wall on all sides of the secret room. So, if there is a room that you think might be your secret room, it's worth your time to go around to all sides and make sure that you can press Isaac up against the wall. Here are some examples of yours truly finding some secret rooms in his video game. So we go up into here. We see there are some eligible secret room spawn locations. However, it cannot be up here because once again, we need to be able to touch the wall. We go down here and we see, oh, lo and behold, we can. So it's an eligible spot, right? But uh, no, that's where you're wrong. Because we see inside of this room that once again, you can't walk to the wall and touch it. You need to be able to walk to the wall and touch it uh, without the use of any sort of flying item. So it's back to the drawing board here. We see once more, walk to the wall, touch it. It's a good sign. That is a good sign. All right, uh, potentially eligible, but let's see what's in this room uh, once again. You can walk up to the wall and you can touch it. So we're gonna put down a bomb there, uh, blow it open, lo and behold. All right, get your ill-begotten loot. All right, get your get your gangs. Uh, see what's up. Maybe uh, collect a card. Who knows what the card is going to be? Maybe the card's high priestess. Maybe you use high priestess on yourself in sort of a uh, uh, celebratory fashion. <laughs> Congratulations, you found the secret room. All right, so looking at the map here, we see that uh, perhaps there's an eligible spawn on the left-hand side of this room. It's uh, close to a. Um, item room it's close to an item room and we see that we can walk to it on all sides uh so we go up but what but but thrown into the mix here we have another potential spot that this could be again we walk up to the wall there we can touch it good to go we see that we can touch it in here so now we're 50 50 split between which of these it could be but we're going to try the bottom one because there's a pop by the bottom one all right, and that's what I like to call min-maxing. Even if there's not a room here, we still used a bomb on a pot, and lo and behold, there was the room here. Get hit by a spider really quick, uh, seed your RNG, head on down, and uh, hey, congratulations. You just found your secret room. 
All right, so we see here that there's a couple spots that it could potentially be. Uh, one of them, of course, being uh, uh, right there off the side of this room. Another one uh, uh, being up above this room. Uh, but in my experience, they don't spawn next to the boss rooms very often, the rooms with the skulls on them. Uh, so although it could feasibly be there, uh, we're going to try this room down in here. And as we can see, we pop it. We lock it, we drop it, we're inside. But I have a little, I have a little, I have a little, I have a little bonus for you. All right. A little more than you bargained for. A little Grizzly Guy Gaming uh, bonus content. Let's say that we didn't want to get in there from this side. Let's say that we wanted to get in here uh, from this side down here. Now, normally you could run to the other side and see a door, line yourself up, but there is no door on that side. So we go back and we want to find it. We notice that the room goes up and down as we move because it is a large room. You go down, you go up, the room moves with you. The trick to this is that the room moves there, but it doesn't move there. Look again. So you put a bomb where the room doesn't move and that's how you can always find your room. But the secret rooms have a sneaky cousin that we have not yet covered. And I am, of course, talking about the super, super secret room. Three things to remember when looking for a super secret room. Similar to the first, but in a way not similar at all and exactly the opposite. Thing number one, unlike their regular secret room counterparts, super secret rooms can only be touching one wall. If a super secret room would spawn in a location where it would have two entrances, then it wouldn't spawn. And before you say, hey, Grizz, what about in this rare instance where maybe it could spawn like this? No, you're right. It's, it just, I, it, it doesn't work like that. All the wishful thinking in the world cannot create a situation where that's how they work. They touch one wall, they touch one wall only. You won't find them anywhere else. Don't even look. Thing number two. Unlike their regular secret room counterparts, these never spawn off special rooms. If you see a special room, your secret room is not attached to it, unless it's a very weird B1 spawn, but that usually doesn't happen. 99.99999% of the time, they will not spawn off of a special room. Occasionally, the way that the first floor is laid out is such that it is so small that it forces the super secret room off of a weird thing, your item room or your shop perhaps, but that happens one out of every thousand runs. So if you see that, go buy a lottery ticket. And the final thing, the third thing in the trio of misfortune that is the super secret room checklist, they will almost always spawn in their first available location closest to the boss room. Therefore, once you're done clearing a floor, you look at your map. Knowing that a super secret room spawns off of a regular room, so not an item room, not a shop, knowing that it only has one entrance, and knowing that it generally will spawn in the closest location that it can to the boss room, it allows you to find them with a pretty reasonable degree of certainty. All right, so here we see a relatively straightforward uh, room. Two areas it could be. We see we cannot walk to the wall on the right-hand side. They're in automatically disqualifying that as a super secret room spot. However, we can walk to and touch the wall on the bottom. So we bomb there. Simple, go in, get your health. All right, spin around, you did it, you found the super secret. It's very straightforward this time. All right, so we see here again that this looks relatively straightforward. We go up, but what do we see when we go up here? You can't touch the wall. Like regular secret rooms, you need to be able to touch the wall in order for it to count as super secret. You can't go into the left-hand side here, obviously, because that's just a regular secret room spawn. We look inside this room. The first available spot that it could be is against this right wall here. This room is full of TNT barrels. So instead of wasting a bomb, uh, classic min-maxer's trick, you're just going to move one of the TNT barrels over to there, slot it in nicely, blow it up, low and behold, we got the twofer. All right, we got the, the double, a little more than we bargained for. Uh, regular secret room on the bottom, super secret room to the right, go through. Uh, we see that it is a black poop room, and uh, here's a little fun trick you can do. Uh, try this at home. When you find a black poop room, if you stand on those spikes right there, 
Uh, eventually it kills you. Alrighty, so we see here that this is kind of an odd location. There can't be a super secret room to the right-hand side because it meets the conditions for a regular secret room. There cannot be a super secret room to the left-hand side because that would connect it to the item room, which again would be the conditions of a regular secret room. It couldn't be up there. So we mosey through until we see the first available slot where it's only going to be connected by one wall, which is down here. You always want to check the first place by the boss room that it could conceivably spawn because it's usually there not always but usually so there it is we see we go inside we get all our health back all right and uh we have a little dance party in this room we lose all our health again but it doesn't even matter we found our super seeker congratulations all right just get all your health back up go continue the floor you did it now a little note from me Usually means usually. Usually does not mean 100% of the time. It means usually. So you have a reliable degree of accuracy here with the super secret rooms, but every once in a while, they'll just spawn all the way across the map for no reason. All right, so here we're left with an interesting predicament, as uh, you'll soon find out. We're looking for our super secret room, uh, but there are two eligible spawns. We only have one bomb. So we head into this room. We see that it could be up. It could be left. Uh, we don't actually know, and there's no real way to discern this. You think. But let me go ahead and show you the uh, real min-maxer play here, the real grizzly guy gaming pro tip. If you go all the way back to the room where you missed a tinted rock and then use your bomb on that, you're just in better shape. Honestly, fuck a super secret room and there's a tinted rock on the floor. You're always better off with the tinted rocks. Super secret rooms are cruel debates 99% uh, of the time, so don't get got. And there you go. Now you can hunt for secret rooms with the best of them. And maybe someday you can hunt for secret rooms with Grizzly Guy Gaming himself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And more than that, I hope you learned something. I hope we all learned something today about finding secret rooms. If you're liking the Binding of Isaac content, consider liking, consider subscribing. It goes a long way to help the channel, and I appreciate it. If you want to see me play the Binding of Isaac live, I have links down there in my description. I have a Twitch stream. If you need anything cleared up in relation to the Binding of Isaac, please feel free to uh, drop by and ask. I'll have more of these tips and tricks videos coming your way in the uh, next coming weeks, so stay tuned for those. Thank you very much, everybody. Happy secret hunting. I'll see you on the other side.